this year is known as my time. For 10 to 15, you're mine. This is my life as I live with my cat and me. What you got to give? So sit and explore my life while I walk through life with strife. But I'm here for all to show, even those left behind can't glow. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna turn down Ilko. So I'm watching Ilko vlogging first thing in the morning. I wasn't able to sleep last night at all. Um, it's still fucking raining outside, and it the pressure in the air is. I have probably one of the biggest migraines I've ever had in my life. Um, and I found out this morning that I have no more Tylenol or aspirin, so now I just gotta fucking suffer through this today. Ah. My migraines have moved from very discomforting to actually being painful. And uh, every time I get these migraines, they get worse and worse every time. Oh. I got up halfway through the night last night and went to go use the bathroom. And you, you little fucking shithead, decided to use the last of my toilet paper as a goddamn play toy. So now I have no more toilet paper, you fucking bitch. <laughs> she always does that. Whenever I'm down to the last of my toilet paper, she always plays with it. I can never understand why. Like, I've had a constant flow of toilet paper for, like, two months now, and she hasn't touched a single piece. And just when I'm down to my last little bit of it, she decides, Oh, now it's a good time to play with it. So... Um, like I mentioned yesterday, uh, Donna and Untikati uh, donated some money, which I'm still amazed that people do. I, um, I'm still baffled at it, and I, I, I'm still trying to figure out how to show my appreciation for you guys. But my my options in doing so are very limited right now. So just trust that I am, I'm doing my best to get through this and I'm doing my best to show that you guys are actually you know putting your money towards a good cause and everything like that so um, thank you guys very much but that's gonna take a couple days to go through so I'm just gonna have to suffer through this headache today hopefully uh, hopefully it'll go away soon enough as for going to the protests today uh, we'll see how the job boards are going, and uh, I'll decide as the day goes on. I was reading on the post, the Facebook post, that they were going to go walking around uh, posting flyers and shit like that, and then at 3 they were going to get together for a demonstration. But a lot of them are saying that the demonstration is just like standing outside of a bank with a sign saying free hugs. What the fuck is that going to do? I ain't gonna do shit. You just stand outside a fucking bank giving away free hugs. Nobody knows what your fucking message is. Nobody knows why you're there. Nobody knows what you're doing. You're just standing there going with a sign saying free hugs. That's not demonstrating nothing. That's not doing shit. That's just standing there giving away free hugs like a fucking hippie. If you're gonna fucking demonstrate, demonstrate. Like, you know, have signs to go for what you're fighting for, have signs to to state why you're upset, have signs to state why you're even there. <laughs> but free hugs. That you know, giving out free hugs is fun and all, but it's not the whole reason why this movement has started. It's not the whole reason why this whole ninety nine percent protests have been going on around the world. Not to give fucking free hugs to people, to demonstrate against the hypocrisy in the corporate industry. Giving away free hugs ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> Fucking hippies. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. People have been calling me a fucking low-life hippie for the last few days when I've been posting on these 
um, protest posts and uh, sites and shit. Uh, so, very, I mean that in good fun. Alright, I just went online again to check the job postings and it, the fucking interview I went for three weeks ago just posted the fucking posting again. So, I just called them back. I was like, yeah, I just noticed you guys posted a, a job posting again for the same position I was in for an interview three weeks ago. Uh, I saw the manager and he said that he would pass it on to the kitchen and now it's the kitchen posting the thing so I told him that uh, you know I'm willing to work and uh, I need to start working immediately um, so he told me to come in for a quick interview um, so now I have to go get a shower and get dressed and get ready and all that sort of stuff because I'm completely unpresentable right now alright on my way all nice and showered and clean and shaved, well somewhat shaven, but uh, I really hope this job pans out because uh, you know they, they said on the job posting that they're looking to fill the spot immediately and I called before anybody else had actually looked at the post so hopefully that'll uh, work to my favor. So I'm almost there so wish me luck folks, I'll see you when I'm done. Well, that's all done and over with. I start tomorrow. <laughs> Full time closing. So I'll be working from 6 to 2 in the morning, 5 days a week. It's not completely 40 hours, but it is what it is. I'll take anything right now. Oh, that fucking. Oh, that's a big weight off my shoulders. And I just bummed the smoke off of this British guy who gave me. What is it? Lambert and Butler cigarettes. <laughs> Damn it, even the British smoke sounds sophisticated. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it is fucking. Oh, so humid outside. With all the rain and then the fucking blasting heat. It's like plus 25 outside. Oh my god. Uh, and this, this heat is doing wonders for my headache. Oh god, my head hurts. Oh. Detoxing, detoxing, sugar, caffeine. Oh. <laughs> well, at least I got a job. Now I can tell my landlord that I... Uh, Give me a couple days and it should be all set to go. <sighs> Time to lay down. So guys, I'm sitting here watching the news as usual. And I don't know if any of you have been following the news over the weekend, but apparently uh, there was a big Bloomberg uh, story come out about Coke Industries. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Coke Industries is a, like a... Uh, oil refine something to do with gas and oil and shit like that um, I don't know exactly what their company goal is but um, they Bloomberg came out with an article of seven different things that the company has done that has clearly been a violation of American law and all they received in return were fines now some of these fines were in excess of $300 million, some of them were in excess of a million. But in every single case, the fines weren't even 10% of the profits they made off of, the, off of what they did to get fined for in the first place. Um, these things range from uh, uh, emissions, uh, benzene emissions, um, oil pipelines that were deteriorating which caused two deaths um, stealing money from the taxpayers uh, what was the other one investing in Iran which is highly against the law in the United States um, what were the other two things uh, there's said there's seven of them all together in this article um, for those of you who want to see it just go to Google and type in Coke Bloomberg Coke is spelled K-O-C-H, and Bloomberg is B-L-O-O-M-B-E-R-G, I think. 
but just go over read it um, it's very informative and you know it just goes to show that you know it, how do I put this in all the things that they have admitted because they made more money than the fines imagine what they haven't gotten caught for yet it just it's absolutely amazing like even the benzine the benzine emissions benzine is known as a fact to cause cancer in people who are in that environment in up to five years that's how fast benzine creates cancer in the body you can take no more than five years to get cancer and I think the emissions are supposed to be at like two or no six cubic tons or something like that I, I don't know the exact figures I know it was six so um, and their actual emissions were 91 15 times over the legal limit so everybody in the area of that factory is almost guaranteed to get cancer now and it it would have cost coke industry seven million dollars to fix that problem and they made in profits from that plant over 290 some odd million dollars so that just goes to show how fucking greedy they are that they're willing to bypass or they're willing to uh, harm people and harm the community and harm the industry and their company just to make an extra buck these are the reasons why people are out protesting these are the reason why people are now getting pissed off because it's becoming more and more apparent how these companies and corporations are taking advantage of the of the system that we live in and even the other day coke industries donated i think it was like 35 million dollars to the new york police department i wonder why they did that Maybe it's because the protesters are protesting against what they're doing. Even though the police officers are still middle class and the protesters are protesting for the rights for even those policemen who are arresting them. It, <sighs> this shit's gonna hit the fan if this keeps up. And no, this is just a perfect example. So if you wanna be informed, Go read the article. It's very informative. You'll learn a lot. And if you have a cognitive brain, you'll realize what's going on. And it just pissed me off even more. <laughs> one of the ironic things is that one of the Koch brothers is actually a cancer survivor. So, I mean, for him to nonchalantly throw away all the dangerous effects that his companies are producing into not only their workers, but the community around it. And to be a cancer survivor, just greed man it's fucking greed it's all it is pure and utter greed and oh and that Iran the thing that they were doing in Iran they were helping them create a chemical plant a terrorist nation and you're fucking helping them make weapons No, oh, I hate you, you fucking camera. Why are you always out of focus? No, oh, you're still out of focus. I hate you. Who's that? Who's that? He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and they had left him all alone. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Now what'd you leave it there for? What'd you leave it there for? At least you got it back to me a couple times this time. Usually you just leave it halfway. Yes you do. Yes you do. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Is that what you want? You wanna fight? Come on. Alright. We're gonna end it there for today guys. I'm going to uh, make sure I get a good decent sleep today tonight um, so I can uh, put my best foot forward tomorrow at work <laughs> at work Christ I've been out of work so long and so often now this year that saying going to work almost doesn't even seem right thanks to everybody um, for your support and everything over the last month 
and uh, helping me get through this because without you guys and the support you've given me <sighs> things could have been really bad this month so uh, I owe everything to you guys love you guys you guys are fucking awesome right kitty cat right say yes right yeah that's right <laughs> it took you a second but you got it you got a kitty cat. So, well, uh, with me doing the closings, um, I'm not sure about what my uh, upload time for the vlogs will be. I'll figure that out as we go, but we'll most likely end up going back to what they originally were and me uh, uh, uploading them either at night or in the morning. Um, so we'll see how uh, the next week goes and how the upload and my time schedule goes and everything like that. And, uh, we'll go from there. Back to work. <laughs> stay strong, stay wise, folks. Peace.